<laughs> I'm gonna make a meme that says, this is the face of a guy who just saw airplane oh, cheese beautiful. really big, like airplanes. you do. Smile like you do. I love airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Like I do. <laughs> like you do when you see an airplane. <laughs> put, I just think it's cool. Put those glasses on, I smile think, real big. I just think it's cool. I love airplanes. What did these people say? Guy, his name's Wayne. He's real nice. He told me about two metal shops. Real nice guy. I'm gonna have to come here and drink coffee with him one morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good guy though. But... I done forgot where he told me to go. He told me too many different places. Oh my heck. Are you for real? <laughs> he said across from Walmart in the liquor store, somewhere over there. And then he, I think that's the Badlands one. And then he told me about one out west of town. So, what have we got here? What? I'm turning around. Help me get to Walmart. Right or left? Left? <laughs> we were just there. I knew we had to go left, Kayla. That was a joke. But the rest of them really not sure to take a right. Right? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> See, I know where I'm going. Hey, guys. Hey. We are on another little adventure. Um, also got another rain out. On a perfectly sunny day. Yep. So, because it is sunny and because he's rained out, we couldn't just set at the camper. We are heading to the Fort Union Trading Post. It is, we are in Williston right now. We just had lunch and Austin picked up some metal for a project he needs to do on his truck. And now we're gonna head over there and check it out. It's one of the top things to do um, on in this part of North Dakota. So since we were this close and since we've already seen a lot of the other things, we decided we would go ahead and head over here today. So that's where we're gonna go right now. Um, we will see you guys there. All right guys, we actually got distracted, kinda. Um, we got a little lost, the GPS didn't take us to where we were going. So we realized we were only like 15 minutes from an old campground we stayed at, the second place we stayed um, after moving to North Dakota. So we decided to come down here and check it out and see what it was like now. Um, so yeah, here it is. It's called Ridgeview Park and it is um, near Fairview, Montana. It's like right across the border in North Dakota. And we actually really liked staying here. So if you come to the area, check it out. But um, yeah, there's definitely spots right now. They have a lot of these like things that they rent in. And then, um, they have a park over here. Oh my gosh, look at this camper. And we will show you where we were parked, which was over on this side by this field. Ronnie was right here on the end. And then, what the heck? Why do they have all that boarded up? Oh my God. Oh wow, this looks really trashy. Yeah. See, and they were like strict whenever we were here. We were like right here where this trailer's at, I think. Somewhere right in here. Were we one or two over from Rodney? Uh, yeah, we were right like, we that's a pig. There's a pig, stop. There's a pig in there with that dog. Are you shitting me? Do you guys see that? There's a pot belly pig in there. I think we were, I think we were right where that cougar is. I think so too. Cause I think there's two campers in between Rodney and Brooke and us, and that would make sense. This guy right here in this eagle was here whenever we were here. That's him. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he had a, um, like an RV, and then he got married, and they bought this camper, and why does he have... I used to walk the dogs like down this run right here and um, in that pasture and I would let out Moose, um, Michael and Tori's dog, like once a day or so and play fetch with him out there and that's whenever Paisley learned how to play fetch again. I can't believe it. that guy was here before we got here and he's still here. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a truck driver. Didn't he say he drove like a water truck or something like that? 
What? Why does he have that thing right there? What is that doing? So that goes to show you that is a was a brand new camper two years ago, and North Dakota. It's had two winners yeah. stuck in one spot. Anyways, it was fun to come down here. We just thought since we were that close, we'd have to check it out. But um, it looks like they've let some of it go. And it kind of looks the same way over here. There's like the front part of the park was practically full whenever we were here. And uh, it looks pretty nasty too. There was also a, there was a uh, food trailer in this campground too, but it looks like it's gone. It's actually really sad that they let this park go because it looked really nice whenever we were here. Their rent was high, but it wasn't any different than anybody else's. Inside here were showers and um, like a rec room and laundry mat, so that was really nice. Um, for our pipeline families, if you're ever up here, um, we had a really, um, good experience I guess you could say at this park but it does look kind of trashy now it's kind of sad they let it go because it was like new whenever we were here I think um, but depending on who the management is if you could find a spot that you um, liked your neighbors then it might not be a bad place to be it does take a while to get to Williston so that kind of stinks um, like today it didn't take us that long and it shouldn't take that long but whenever the traffic was really bad it took me at least an hour to get there Here yeah 45 minutes to an hour depending on which side of town you're going to but today it probably took us what 30 minutes Yeah. a little over 30 minutes maybe so it's not a bad commute if um, the traffic isn't really bad so Anyways, okay, now we're gonna go try to find um, where we were originally going. I also wanted to mention that right over there from the campground, like literally five minutes away, is um, the Fairview Lift Bridge and the Cartwright Tunnel, which is, um, we thought it was really neat. And I actually did a blog post on it. I'll link it down below. And if you live here, um, there's Fairview, Montana. Um, like has a post office and a place to get propane and stuff. And then you can get groceries if you don't want to drive to Williston in Sydney, Montana, which is about a 20 to 30 minute drive. So, um, and there's a good steakhouse over in Sydney as well. Or was like, that in Fairview? Yeah, it was in Sydney. It's pretty cool. So, but there's a place to eat in Fairview too. Isn't there? there is a place to eat in Fairview. So, if you're over here, there's stuff that's closer than Williston. I just wanted to mention that why we were here. So, anyways, okay, now we're really gonna try to find where we're going. <laughs> So I'm a little embarrassed because this is practically in our backyard whenever we were here last time. And we didn't know it. Um, we didn't get out much then. So um, anyways, we'll talk about that at a later time. But one thing that I remember about living here, it was so weird because it's right on the line of central and mountain time. And that would mess us up all the time. We had to like manually set our phones because half of the park was central time half of it was mountain time and they worked in central time so yeah, anyways insane. really easily to get confused um but we found it and um it's like what 10 minutes from the campground so if you guys stay over in this area um it looks pretty cool so we're gonna go check it out we got paisley this harness because we left hers at the house her collar and we don't know how to put it on and she doesn't like it <laughs> she hates it actually she already tried to bite it off I'm really not for sure <laughs> oops look at it though would you look at it
What's up guys? I am sitting on the floor because I'm fixing to finish up the video where we went to Medora to show you guys what we got. Um, I didn't do that the other day whenever we got back so I'm going to finish that up now. But I just wanted to tell you guys that we are back to the camper. Austin went into town to wash his truck and I'm going to start dinner. So we had a lot of fun today. I can't believe that that was literally in our backyard whenever we lived over there and we didn't even know it. Um, it's kind of embarrassing but we were talking about today about how much has changed since we started traveling and that was two years ago. We'd been on the road but um, not as long as what we have been for now and it's just different. Um, you learn and certain things become easier so then you have more time to like venture out and stuff. Like I was telling him that traveling alone like a lot of stuff can go wrong but it's not as stressful as what it used to be so it seems like my mind is more free once we get there and also we were um I guess just new and like always thought oh we need to save money we need to stay at the camper like he's rained out so he's not making money today and we finally just realized that sometimes a tank of gas um is a small price to pay to get out and see the things that you're around we've always been into seeing the big things and we've done that we've even driven five hours from where we were to go see niagara falls but we've missed the little things along the way and since we've started seeing them i've really enjoyed traveling more so i'm excited to do more of that in the future i hope you guys enjoyed it it was something different i will say it a million times i'm not a huge history buff but I still think it's fun and I still think it's important to appreciate all those things. So had fun today. Like I said, I'm going to do the haul for whenever we went to Medora. That is the video that probably went up before this one. So if you want to check it out, I will put a link down to it below as well as the blog post that I mentioned earlier today about whenever we went to the, um, Fairview lift bridge and Cartwright tunnel. So I will put all that in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to hang out with us some more, please hit the subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to a hundred subscribers soon. So if you guys could help me out, that would be awesome. Um, but I really just appreciate you guys watching. I, I see the views and, um, I see you guys commenting here and there on Facebook and stuff. If you guys would like to chat, I would love to chat with you in the comments below, but hearing from you in any way is great. So we just really appreciate all the support. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.